everyone, welcome to Sweet Bite. Yes, we came in for a cake, but you won't believe what they actually have. You gotta see what we found. It's so exciting, we are so excited. I'm just gonna go outside because you can come outside, you can come out here and actually watch him make it. Or you can just go, oh look, there's a Ricky. <laughs> Ricky got backstage pass. <laughs> Okay, so there's actual fresh dough rising over here and everything is made in-house because remember this is also a bakery. Okay, wow, look at that gorgeous fresh bread dough. And you can tell these guys are bakers because it's super clean in here. And you guys are not melting here, I'm actually holding you over the actual fire. <laughs> and it actually feels a little bit hot, but there you are, what we do to show you bread being made. Oh, a Look at that bubbling up already. Up, oh, man! Look at it bubble. Look at it glow. <laughs> it's no longer flatbread. Yeah, it's got a life of its own. It's come alive. They've got the meat for the kebab with all the proper spicing and everything. Also, super fresh and clean and ready to go. Show us, show us. <laughs> so here he's actually making it. He's pressing it onto the. It, it's a sword. I'm pretty sure it's called a sword. Yes. It might be called a. a no, we're going to go with sword. <laughs> <laughs> because traditionally this was implemented so that soldiers could put meat on their sword and cook it over an open flame. So there you go. This is this is harking back to Roman times. And on it goes. Hot, hot. <laughs> Do you guys remember that Iranian saffron that we saw at, at uh, Vanilla Village? That's what's actually on this. It's that purple color. It, it's not. It's not like the red ones. It's Iranian saffron. This still comes out yellow, and I'm sure. Track. But that's what's great about being on the streets of, of Rosal. So I've come inside because outside's gotten a little bit hot. Oh, look at that flame! Did you see that flame? There we go. That's that's why it's called flame grill. But this, the smell from this is so great. What's really cool is the kitchen is completely out and open. So everything has been done completely in front of you. The lamb one is Kube Day and the uh, chicken one is Juje. So Juje and Kube Day. Right, learn something new. So there we are, we're getting into Iranian food now. Can you see that heat rising? Oh yes. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's like a silhouette of the cooking process. And while she's pointing that out, did you see the decor on this place? Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. It's like all wood. But they got these like blackboards. I assume they give you crayons and you can actually draw on <laughs> yourself. Make pictures of yourself. <laughs> but nice little tables. And it's like the perfect size to come in and get yourself a feast. This is Alta. He's the actual chef. And the reason he can make Iranian food is he's got an Iranian wife. Not seen here. But she's the one who actually taught him. She taught you, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. He's taking the lamb out and it's going to go straight onto the bread there. And it's going to be folded and pulled out. And there we go. There's the lamb. Oh, my mouth is watering so much. You guys can't smell what I'm smelling, but wow. Okay, so the chicken is now ready as well. Glove on the sword into the kebab. Fold and pull. Oh, chicken's fighting back. Chicken's <laughs> fighting back. Oh, look at that. So now it's starting to get some salad, a little bit of onion and coriander. Person. Parsley. Parsley, of course. Into the cabbage, just do a little bit of cabbage. cabbage. Crunch, crunch. Carrot. Carrot for a little bit of color. Or for eyesight, you decide. <laughs> and a little tomato to add a little bit of red to it. Oh wow, doesn't it actually look really good? Yeah, it's amazing. It really is. This is actually homemade mayonnaise. They actually make the mayonnaise here with their own herbs and spices. Secret recipe. So there we go. We're going with just the mayonnaise on the side. Lovely homemade mayonnaise that we still have to guess. And a little bit of uh, ketchup. ketchup a bit of sweetness. And then, and then just, just a, a dash of chili. chili. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Welcome to Ricky's famous guessing game where she tries to guess what the herbs are in the mayonnaise. Mm. Oh, she's figured it out straight away. Mm. Oh no, she hasn't. I need more. <laughs> she needs more. She'll try it from there. <laughs> Great mayonnaise. So this is the lamb one getting folded. Into the paper. 
So you could kind of get this on the go. <laughs> I think so. I think it's going to be a little bit messy, but it's totally worth it. I don't think the Metro would appreciate it. <laughs> eating this on the Metro. Thank you. Okay, here we got the super sharp knife. We're going to get right through wow, that. through that paper, wow. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, oh look at that. Let gorgeous. me just get perfect focus on that. Oh, wow, and look at the bread as well. Look at how puffy it is. Right, guys, so here we are again in uh, not quite the middle of the island. Uh, Rose Hill. Rose Hill. Rose Hill. So, <laughs> there you are. Where's, we're here at Sweet Bites. Where's and the metro? And the metro is just here. So just so up the road from the metro, really easy to get you. Yep. Yeah. Feast. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. I got the I got the lamb. He knew. He knew the lamb was for me. Thank you. There we are, Ricky and her chicken, Iranian chicken. Wow. Oh. Beautiful looking. Uh huh. Look, I got lucky. Yes, I got my own chili, oh. and there's some mayonnaise next to it. So I think we both actually won on that one. <laughs> Ricky's doing photos, everyone. My mouth is watering as usual. I think 100% if you're coming in, you're going to sit down, get it like this. It is so beautiful and we'll show you how to eat it properly in a minute. But <laughs> if you're on the go and in a hurry, get it like this. It's so easy to pick up. Uh-huh. And just, uh-huh. Uh, I've got to unwrap the pack a little bit. I'll do that in a second. Ricky preparing to eat. <laughs> Always get that right. Let's see how she does it. There's a trick to it. Oh, I don't know. I just eat. I do There we go. Here we are, pop it in. And, and does the saffron mm. make a difference? Mm. It's fragrant, mm. really. Because I've heard Iranian mm. saffron is so much better. Let me just get a zoom over while Ricky tries to. There is no comparison. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, well, no, I can't wait. Can, can I try some now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so learn from the master. Absolutely. <laughs> and a piece of chicken. Uh -huh. Yeah, the chicken's remarkably soft. Mm. 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 Such different flavors, yeah. Mm. This is actually homemade chili, and guess who's going to try it? You've always got to try a little bit just to check. Just to make sure. Mm. Put a fresh flavor. Nice and fresh. Got some burn? Mm. But it's manageable. Wait. After after burner. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put too much, but I can actually handle that. Classic mm. after burner homemade nice. chili. So Ricky has unwrapped it, which is unwise. But we do this for video, we do this for you guys. Mm. She went straight for the lamb. Did you see that guys? She left all mm -hmm. the veggies on the side. <laughs> then she went straight for the lamb. Top tip for you guys. Mm. Flavours in the lamb? Mm. Figured out the mayonnaise? Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to eat her veggies. Uh -huh, apparently it's mouth wiping good. <laughs> yeah. Listen to the chicken, I'm going to go, but I'm going to eat a whole hog. Uh-huh. It's <laughs> so <laughs> full of that delicious mayonnaise and the chili, mm. it's wonderful. Mm. Yeah, very nice and pure and mm. lamby. I'm sure you would say all of that uh -huh. if you didn't have your mouth full. <laughs> the, the parsley. Got that ah, freshness. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, no, definitely. Now you're going to try some with some chili. <laughs> when will you learn not to take such big bites? Lamb and chili. Ooh. Hopefully that's not too much. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to stop filming now? <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> New great discovery. Have a look at this. You take your, your bit of chicken, you dip it in the chili, and then you go for the mayonnaise. It's like a, a chili mayonnaise. Mm. And it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to start bottling and selling that for sure. Right, so, uh, Chef Altap over there, was listening to Brian going on and on about the food and decided, let's see what he thinks of the shawarma. Oh, so we've got a gorgeous chicken shawarma thing going on here. It smells incredible. So this is a bit of he just chicken, cut the yeah? Chicken. chicken. Okay, a little bit of chicken for Brian to try. We saw a rotisserie in there, so we're going to give it a bit of a try. Straight up first of all, but then I'm definitely trying with the chili and the, the, the mayonnaise. Homemade mayonnaise. Ooh. Nice. Oh yeah. Mm. 
totally different flavor to the... the yes, mm -hmm. you can taste the Turkish in this, whereas that you can taste the uranium. And here we go, a bit of chili, a bit of mayonnaise that now has chili in it. Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. Wow, yum. I'm really truly in awe of this bread. It is super soft. Look at that. You know I love my bread, guys. Yeah. This is great. Ricky has admitted defeat. Yeah. She can't get it. It's definitely got a sweetness, so I'm like, sugar or honey, and he's like, no. <laughs> and so, there you go. You guys are going to have to come figure it out for yourselves. Ricky yeah. has given up. <laughs> this is the chicken. Pull apart. Oh, so soft. Really mm. soft. Mm, mm, mm. Give me time to focus on it. Soft chicken. <laughs> well, that was delicious. Oh, I'm actually feeling quite stuffed. Yeah, ready to Ooh. hit the streets of Brazil again. Go yeah. do some more shopping. Fantastic. Awesome place. Look at the gorgeous flaky pastry. So they also do like chicken pate and fish, fish wines. And you can even get these frozen and take them home and pop them in the oven. Top tip. Great, so you can get hot drinks here as well. And as Al Tuff was just saying us, they do birthday cakes, wedding cakes, gorgeous looking Engagement cakes. Cake and Engagement cakes and everything is baked here, made in fresh. House. And in you house. can have your cake straight away here, like uh, cheesecake. Okay, uh, wow, yeah. Chocolate oh. and ganache cake, uh, donuts, the macaron, all done in house. Master baker. <laughs> oh, a red velvet cake, or oh, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Red velvet, I got it. I'm so good at guessing cakes now. Guys, well, if you've got a sweet tooth, I just heard now this red velvet, that's two slices only. So half of that, 85 rupees a slice. And the cheesecake, would you believe, only 140 rupees a slice. He keeps insisting that we eat some of these cakes, but we are so stuffed. Eventually, <laughs> we caved and got one of these tiny little donuts, so we're going to share it. Mm, Hopefully, we're not regretting our decision not to take the big one. <laughs> Look at this little beauty. Oh, I can't even focus. It's so beautiful. There we go. Look at that. Because she couldn't figure out the, the mayonnaise, I'm letting her go first. <laughs> mm. Proper donut. Oh, look at that. It's spongy. This is proper donut. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Proper strawberry donut. <laughs> She's going to scoff the lot. My turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, too late. <laughs> you need to open up some donut shops in Grand Bay. It's called sweet bite, but don't let that put you off. Although, let it put you on to some sweet bites. But the actual Iranian food is also epic. Wow, sweet bite. Eh, no. <laughs> wow, sweet bite. I've Feast of flavors. Who knew? Right here in Rosal. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.